All right, well, we are headed out. We are going camping. We are actually bringing our trailer. We're gonna show you some of the uh, improvements that have been made on this trailer to make it to where it's almost like tiny little, uh, you know, RV trailer. So we're gonna go enjoy a little camping spot out there and, you know, just have a good time with the kids and camp, cook, eat out. And we're trying to go pick some fireweed. Yeah, I've been wanting to harvest fireweed because I want to try to make some fireweed jelly. So hoping we can get enough for, for that. But yeah, excited to be with the family and uh, we have a good time. All right, let's get on our way here. All right, so we pulled on the side of the road to harvest some fireweed. We found a really nice patch. Most of fireweed is along the highway, so there's a lot of traffic and a little loud, but we're gonna get to picking. Like I said before, we plan on making some jelly and maybe some tea, and I'm gonna show you guys how to harvest this. You start at the bottom and you pull your fingers to the top and take all the blossoms off. Now in Alaska, this is summertime. When you see fireweed, you know that it's full-blown summer. A lot of people believe that when you see fireweed, it means summer here in Alaska. And with fireweed, it starts at the bottom and it starts blooming, it goes up to the top. Now when it reaches to the top, that symbolizes to Alaskans that there's only six weeks until winter so I'm just gonna pull up here and then just put it in the bag and it's that easy you see your hand good job buddy we're just gonna pull 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 good job I put it in the bag good job there you go is that easy <laughs> easy huh see all the beautiful flowers yeah, what's nice about Alaska is you can pull over on the side of the road and pick flowers and blueberries, all kinds of things. You collect them fast too, don't you? Yeah, look how easy this is. Just whoop. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of pretty flowers. Yeah. How much you got already? Oh, wow. At least it's easy to harvest, right? Yeah, looks good. Oh. All right, almost a full bag here. Um, it's starting to rain, and so I'm gonna take the kids back to the car, and Blake's gonna come back out and get some more. Okay, let's go back to the car. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Good job. How'd you do? All right, that should be more than enough to make some jelly for us, huh? Yeah, maybe some tea? Yeah. Well, you got almost as much as me. Yeah. Awesome. I wanted to make sure we had enough for the jelly. It started raining and it's getting a little heavy. Just right over there, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I like, I disappeared. I saw that. Yeah, I fell into what felt like a, a bear's den, like an old den. I fell into it and I was like, oh my God. I jumped out of there like, <laughs> cause it was just like a perfect like little hole. I'm not sure what else would have made that hole. You know, it probably wasn't a den. I'm just over, I'm just being excited, okay? <laughs> it was the, the biggest and the best bear den ever. <laughs> this is a good a day as any. Start All right, well, we are taking a little pit stop. Yeah, so we just pulled into Mama's Wilderness Barbecue, and it's an Airstream trailer restaurant, and I've been seeing a lot of amazing reviews on Facebook about this place. So it's on our way to go camping, so we thought we'd stop. So excited to go check out and see if the barbecue is what everybody's saying it is. You know, being from Texas, it's a little bit hard because we have high standards for barbecue, but that's okay. We're going to give it a try and see how it is. Look at that. Nice little Airstream over there. All right, let's go. Let's go eat, huh? What they got? I like how Hungry Eyes is playing while we're ordering our food. Yeah, right? <laughs> they must know me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hi. Little bunny over there? Yeah, he wants your potato salad. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna eat your potato salad. I'd share with him. Yeah, you would. I would. You know me. This is my girl. This is my girl. 
We just had a change of poopy diaper. Oh my goodness. While we're waiting for our food. Getting our barbecue. Yeah. All right, we got our barbecue. All right, well, there we are. We got our barbecue sauce here. This is the hot potato salad that they said, which is it's nice and warm. And Jillian got the got brisket sandwich. sandwich. And then I got just a regular potato salad. Here's the brisket, looks really, really good. All right, let's try it real quick, huh? Mmm. Can't go wrong with that. Pretty good. Pretty good. So interesting though, they did not have pickles and they did not have french fries, which I thought was kind of interesting. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the food. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce on here. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I love barbecue sauce. Mm. And I'm gonna get messy and enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try the um, hot German potato salad. That's really good. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of like a mustard base. It definitely has mustard in it. It is so good. I'm not really a big potato salad person, but this is, that one was really good. And then, then here's the regular one. You can see there's an egg in it there. You like them good both. too, though. You like them both, huh? <laughs> but definitely, if you want to try something that's different, that's the winner. Well, we're gonna get to eat, then we're gonna go inside, and we hear next door they have really, really good ice cream. So after we finish eating, we're gonna go in there. Harrison's taking a little nap, so we're gonna enjoy our food and then take him over and surprise him with some ice cream. Well, Daddy's feeding you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at your blue eyes. Yeah. And you're so cute. Are you ready to go get some ice cream? Yeah. After nap yeah. ice cream? After nap time ice cream. Oh, look at that. Ice cream, huh? Let's go look at the ice cream. Come here. You wanna look? Ooh. There you go, mama. Good. Look, Bubba, there. Ooh. Does that look good? Yeah. It's got cream on it's it? Sit, it's supposed to sit in the car and eat? Yeah, you want daddy to carry it for you? Yeah, yeah. You wanna carry it? You wanna carry it? <laughs> Does that look good? Yeah. You eat it? Yeah. Your mama gonna have dessert here. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is that so yummy? Yeah. Good. <laughs> you like that, huh? Is this daddy's? No. <laughs> Is yours? You like it? <laughs> no. No. This is where ours is, right here. All right, we made it. Are you ready to get out? Yeah. You excited? You want to look around? Uh -huh. It's, perfect, it's nice in here. You want to go look in the woods? No, Jamie. It's... No, the woods, huh? Are you excited to go camping too? You excited to go camping? Okay, let's go. Woo. Wow, she's ready, she's Woo. ready. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> She's liking all these smells. I bet. Are you gonna be our bear protection? Are you gonna be our bear protection? Fireweed looks nice. Look how big it is here. It is. Big fireweed. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, Harrison. Are you having fun? Hi, fun. Yeah. Hi, Mocha. Hi, Mocha. So it's drizzling out a little bit, but we decided to go ahead and take a walk. Uh, we've been walking for a little bit and we came to this side of the campground um, where the water is and they have daily use uh, picnic tables. So we're gonna go check this out and go check out the water. Nice this is very nice, huh? So this is our first time visiting Quartz Creek and a very nice campground. It's very clean and quiet and it's such beautiful scenery. It really is. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> beautiful out, huh? You having fun with the water? Hey, don't go too deep. Don't let the waves get in your boots. Why no, no boots in the boots? Yeah, no waves in the boots. Is he liking it out here? Is it so pretty, huh? Like you, baby girl, with your blue eyes. Yeah, look at them <laughs> blue eyes. You know you're so good looking, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're such a pretty girl. Like your mama, huh? Oh. oh, handsome like Harrison, huh? Handsome like Harrison. Beautiful out here in Alaska. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is she drinking the water? 
You want to get in the water too? Who's my good girl? That's my good girl. You're so pretty, aren't you? You're so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got your little giraffe? Your little, little giraffe? Yeah. This is just a toy hauler, and it's been renovated to kind of accommodate somebody who wanted to sleep in it. So um, it's got a sink and all that. I'm going to finish this door here by putting up a mosquito net because we don't want mosquitoes, but we want to have the option of opening the door. Then I'll get the bed set up and everything set up, and then we'll show you around. Come on in here. Whoa! Look at this, bub. Whoa! You like it? Yeah. <laughs> nice, huh? Here is our toy hauler. So this is the setup here that we have. Shelly said it's cute, but uh, you know, I call it uh, redneck. But this is the toy hauler. We got our setup here. So here is the net, which you saw me putting together real quick. We have our paper towel holder, cup holder, or spice rack. You got your sink here. There's your water. You got a pump there, battery powered, which is giving us lights here. We even have a vent fan, another light system over there. And there's even charging stations right there in the corner we have our cook stove top here and this is our gas heater this is good for winter time and the insulation is done here on the roof but yeah this is our setup here well it is our redneck version of an rv and uh here's the bed set up here but this is a queen size air mattress here that over there looks like a tiny little shack for me this is where i'm getting to sleep on sleeping bags which is actually really padded really well and uh i'll hopefully get to keep a pillow we'll see about that do i get to uh use a pillow i only brought four so i don't know we'll see <laughs> <laughs> maybe baby girl will share her pillow huh you gonna share your pillow with me you gonna show your pillow? Yeah. But yeah, we think it's pretty cozy. Um, you know, it was better than tent camping for us with kids. I feel a little more safer with bears, you know, and having kids. I feel like we're a little more protected. I'm happy with it. You know, maybe eventually we'll upgrade, but for now, this is all we need. So let's go ahead and uh, get some dinner together. We're doing ribeye steaks and of course, hot dogs for Harrison. And also I'm gonna be making some of that salmon dip. So last video you saw me uh, smoke a bunch of salmon and I wanna make some salmon dip because I am, hungry for that. This is a good little adventure for us. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, we are. We're happy that we are able to do this with our kids and we're happy that you guys are along with us and we hope you stay for the rest of the trip because we have s'mores and lots of other things to come. Yep, if we don't get rained out, that is. This is Alaska rain where it sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles the whole time. Yes, and if you don't know Alaska weather, you know, being on a peninsula, the weather changes on a dime. You know, it was sunny earlier, now it's raining, it could end, it could go all night. We don't know. We just go with the flow. That's all we can do. Yep. Oh, there's the water. Yeah, let's we'll get the water. All right, you want me to help? Good job. Okay, buddy. Okay. That's... Whoa. All right, we're going to go take that to motor. To motor her water? Okay. No. You need help opening? No. You, you're going to do... Oh, look at you, big boy. Good job. Help the motor eat. Take it to her. Go put it by her water. Good job, Good buddy. Good job. High five. Yeah. Boom. Good job feeding the motors. Are you ready for hot dogs? Yeah. Ooh, hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Are you happy to be camping? Yeah, de, 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 de. Are you happy to be camping? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to cook you a hot dog, huh? Yeah, hot dog. All right. All right. Yummy hot dog, huh? Yeah. Daddy's cutting your hot dog for you. Is he good? Yeah. Oh, good job. Look at that little camper right there. Yummy hot dog, you like it? Yeah. Good. Both sides look amazing. Now it's time to do that butter thing. We're gonna add some butter and baste the whole thing with it as soon as that melts. All right, we got the butter melted. All right, we're gonna let that rest right there. So while the steak is resting, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the smoked salmon. So I like to make a dip out of it, and I'll just take the smoked salmon and toss it in a bowl, 
making sure there's no skin on the back because some of it I leave the skin on, but I usually just take it off and give it to the chickens or give it to Mocha. Sometimes Mocha likes it. So I will take the salmon and I'll just start forking it and just breaking it up here. You can break it up with your hands too. And a lot of times you'll find you'll have little bones and stuff like that because when you just smoke it and not can it, you're going to end up with bones left over. So that's why I like to use a fork here because I can just break it up real quick and easily find any bones that we're hiding. There's always pin bones. They're a little bitty and you may not even notice them when you eat them, but I prefer not to have that texture. So I just remove them and they're easy to remove once you break it up. Well, I didn't have time this morning to make my own mayo. So we're just gonna use the very last little bit of this mayo that we have in the fridge. But I bought a bunch of stuff to make my own mayo, which is what I prefer to make because I don't like any of these seed oils. But I just use a couple of tablespoons of that. And then I like to use dill, probably like, uh, um, two tablespoons of dill. Now, something that not everybody's going to use is basil leaves. I don't know what it is. I love the smell. I love the taste of basil. So I always add basil, which probably isn't common, but that's what I like to do. Lemon juice. I just use a couple of sprinkles of that and then salt and pepper. And so there you go. You can see exactly what I'm doing. And I just mix it up. This is a real good way to have it. And even mama likes it this way. Oh yeah. I like it as a dip. Yeah. That's the way I prefer it too. All right. And there you go. Now, a lot of times this is better if you leave it in there for about an hour, uh, just cause like all the flavors infused, but I mean, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna try it. I mean, that that's on point right there. That That is so good. All right, babe. Hey, you better share with me. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> We've been teaching Harrison about sharing lately. So yeah, he's been doing really good. So daddy, you need to do good too. Of course, I always do good. All right, let's look at this. This steak is fantastic. Well, there is our steak. Nice and hot and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Mocha gets the bone. Mocha loves the bones. All right, so I'm gonna take a, a bite of this yummy ribeye. How is it? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. The butter just makes it melt in your mouth. That cast iron it's hits so the spot. It's so tender. Mm. Fantastic. That's the way to do it. Mm. Yummy. So we had amazing ribeye steak tonight. We had fresh caught red salmon right here in Alaska. That's good so, stuff. Cheers. Cheers. This is good eating in Alaska. <laughs> and good living. <laughs> and good living. Mmm. <laughs> that's good stuff. That's good living right there. <laughs> that's some good dip. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully it'll clear up and we can get out there and have a nice fire and s'mores. So one thing that we've learned with living in Alaska with the weather and having kids is sometimes you just have to go with the flow yep. and it's kind of hard because the weather's unpredictable and you know kids kind of slow you down sometimes and they do their own thing which is fine but we just go with the flow yep but they're the blessing that keeps on giving i tell you what they do we didn't trade them but we've had to, to learn just to go with the flow and we end up um, always having a good time that's right all right well we're gonna go ahead and finish up dinner here and then we are gonna head out Try to make some s'mores. If not, we're gonna do some hot chocolate in here and get some rest. So what do you guys think of our prototype label here? We are planning on selling our starter in the next few weeks and it will include a jar with our sticker that says starter and it will also include a spoon. It's gonna include dehydrated starter and it's gonna include detailed instructions. So it's gonna be a kit that we're gonna be selling. Kinda of wanna get the feel, see what you guys think. Would you guys buy them? I personally think it turned out really cute. It would make a great gift, but yeah, tell us what you guys think in the comments i'm really interested to know if this is something that you guys would be willing to uh support us on okay so it's still raining and we're gonna do some hot chocolate and harrison and daddy are going to go do that right now do you want hot chocolate yeah hot chocolate all right let's get it going huh we'll get this started here wow <laughs> look at it watch the fire this is the fire too watch the fire yeah fire is hot this time. Look what we got. Ooh. A chocolate. One cup. Two cup. Four in here. There you go. Yep. No more. And then this one? Yeah. Put this one back in this one. No fault. No fault. You're going to hold it. Okay. Yeah. No fault. Four in here? Yeah. All right. Good job. You got your fork ready? Yeah. Yeah, we always do the fork to stir or to hot chocolate because it breaks all the chocolate up and makes it easier to stir. It's a lot easier than a spoon. <laughs> Are you going to eat all the chocolate before the chocolate milk is made? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
my dad lost it. Yeah. Yeah, in case you guys missed it in uh, one of our other videos, Lala is chocolate for Harrison. It's just super cute. Look, it's almost ready. Oh, it's it's steaming. It's almost ready. All right, all done. Okay, now we got to turn it off. There we go. Oh, lots of steam, huh? There we go. There. Don't touch it yet. No, eat. We gotta let it cool down first. No, no, the bone. Yeah, you want to stir it first? Stir first. Yeah, stir. Yeah. Let's see if it's done right, huh? It's very hot. <laughs> what was that? You silly boy. You're gonna add some milk to it. A little bit of milk to it. Alright, there it is. Ooh. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put it right here for you, okay? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, good Ooh. job. Cheers. Cheers. For a fun uh, camping adventure, huh? Yeah. yeah. You're having fun? So this is our first camping trip on our toy hauler, and this is Blakely's first camping trip. It is. All right, so we just finished our hot chocolate and the rain had stopped. So we decided to come out real quick and make a fire and do some s'mores before bedtime. It is so nice out, and we just decided to cozy up next to a fire and make some s'mores with Harrison. So um, it's a little bit later than we normally let him stay up, but it's a special occasion, so we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Come here, Bubba. Let's start the fire, huh? We got a little fire going, Bubba. Let's roast it. Good job, buddy. There you go. You're a pro. You just hold it over the There fire. you go. And then you got to turn it and roast it. Good. You see? Good job, Bubba. You're doing so good. Good job. Yay. Yay. Yeah. All right, what do you think? You want to keep roasting it? Yeah. What do you think, Daddy? Should we put it on a cookie? Yeah. Yeah, Oh yeah, cookie, huh? Okay, keep roasting it. Okay, don't put it in the fire, just hold it over. Yeah, good job. This? Yep, just like that. Come over here on this side. Oh, Let me show you a trick. Come Wait, over here. It's off? No, no, not yet. Let me show you. Let me show you a trick. Yeah, there you go. So you put it right here and you can relax your arm like that and then you can just roast it just like that. You see? Whoa. Here, hold it. Are you holding it? Yeah. Hold it down. There, that works, huh? Good. Of All course. right, for those of you who've been following us for a while, you know that we like to do oh, s'mores okay. with Oreos instead of graham crackers. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Pull it off. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That looks so yeah, look good, it. huh? Okay, Harrison. Give it a try. Let us know how it tastes. Mmm. What do you think? Is that yummy? Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> Hold it with two hands. It's okay if your hands get sticky. We'll clean them off. We'll clean them no, off. No, no. Or you there can you go. them off. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's good, huh? It's sticky. It's sticky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yum. Mommy's going to roast it. How is yours? Is it good? You enjoying it? The last chunk. Whoa, that's a big bite, huh? Yeah, it's a big bite. Yeah. My fire's on fire, but it's toasty like I like it. Toasty? Yeah. Okay, mommy's gonna go get her. Here. Is it good, Harrison? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna. There you go. Let's see you take a bite, yeah. Mom. Get the back side. The back side's coming out. <gasps> yeah, still my all-time favorite. Something about an Oreo is so good. I know Harrison likes it. You like it, don't you, Bubba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, now that we're all sugared up. <laughs> no, but it's a special occasion, so... I'm um, glad we stayed up and did this, and uh, can't wait to see what we can do tomorrow with our pancakes. Yep. Yeah. You making a s'more? Yeah, you do it. Get in the fire. Come over here. You want to come over here out of smoke? Yeah. Come over here. Look, yeah. Look. Yes. Right here. Stand right here. There you go. Then you just put it right there. <laughs> it's my brother. Yeah, that's good. You're doing a good job. 
Okay, turn it over. Turn it over. Turn it. Turn it. Turn hey. it. There you go. Roast it. Roast it. Good job. This? Yeah, good job. On the other side. Yeah, now the other side because it's going to catch on fire. Yeah, that's a nice roast. All right, it. that looks good. Look, you got brown. Look at what you want. Good job. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you want to put it down here and I'll make the sandwich? This is s'more. Wait, hold it, hold it still. Go. All right. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Huh? Did that look nummy? Yeah. All right, well, so good. That good? Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Yummy, yummy. You got warm fire and yummy s'mores. <laughs> yummy, oh, yum. Now, oh, this is good living. Mm -hmm. This is good living, huh, Baba? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Mocha. Let's go lay down. Come on. Let's go lay down. All right. You can sleep right here on the kitchen floor. Yep. Come on in. Are you tucking Knox into bed? Yeah. Oh, is Knox going night night? <laughs> oh, good night, so silly. All right, so it started raining again, and it's gotten quite chilly in here. It's about 53 degrees. It's too cold for babies. Even though we're all snuggled up in the the bed and covered, we wanted to go ahead and make sure it stays nice and warm for them. So we're gonna get this bad boy started here. All right, well, good morning. So this morning we are gonna go ahead and make some sourdough pancakes. How did you sleep last night? I slept really good. The rain was uh, actually very peaceful hitting the roof. And um, yeah, I slept pretty good and the kids slept really good. So very good night. Yeah, the heater, the heater really worked. Yeah, it was really uh, warm really and toasty. And it rained a lot last night, but like I said, very peaceful. So we're gonna make breakfast inside the trailer today. And then hopefully get outside and do a little um, exploring, a exploring little bit. before we yep. have to head out. Yeah. Are you having a good morning? Yeah. Come on, Mocha. Let's go potty, Mocha. A mosquito got you right in the head, huh? Did it bite you? Mosquito bite you in the head? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get these pancakes started. So I just have sugar here, flour, our sourdough starter, which we showed you last night, and uh, baking powder. And some butter over here, which I'm going to get melting in just a second. But let's get all these dry ingredients and uh, the one wet in there first. So sugar, which you can always do sugar based off of how much you want. But I will have a recipe down in the description. And pancakes are so easy to do. Baking soda. A cup of flour. And then a cup of our sourdough starter. You can see here how bubbly it is. It bubbled up real nice with that heater on. And we're gonna pour that in here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and melt some of that butter for these pancakes. Put the butter and we're gonna pour that. All right, we're gonna give this a mix here. All right, so when you have that, that basically gives you the consistency that you're gonna want for biscuits. So I'm gonna add more water, because as you know, pancakes are looser than that. You can also add milk if you want to. All right, there we go. So after we add three quarters cup of water and you could use milk instead, it's probably better with milk. You get that consistency right there. That's perfect for pancakes. I like a little bit of vanilla just cause. Yes. All right, we're gonna pour in our pancake. That's a big pancake right there. All right, and to top it off, we got some chocolate chips here. And we're going to put on our pancake because Harrison loves chocolate. Oh, look at this. Look at the lava on the pancake. Whoa, that looks good, huh? Yeah. Whoa. That looks good to you? Yeah. All right, all right. That is looking good. It smells good. I smell good pancake. Yeah. There we are. Look at that yummy pancake right there. All right, we're gonna pour pancake number two. All right, flipping this one. Okay, buddy. Let's see. 
How is it? Is it good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yummy. All right. Look at that pancake here. Looks good, Mama. Where's your plate? Right here. It's a little big. Here. <laughs> wow, Looks look good. at that. It's <laughs> bigger than the plate almost. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so warm and it looks it smells so, so good. So crispy and oh yeah, it smells sourdough. So good. Sourdough chocolate chip pancakes. Yeah. They're pretty filling uh, pancakes too. All right, and I'm just gonna drizzle some syrup on it. I like lots of syrup. Looks good. Yum. Here we go, first bite. All right, look at that. Chocolate chip, all right. Wow. They good? It's very crispy. Um, you know, sourdough pancakes aren't like your normal pancakes. They're a lot more, they're a little bit chewier to me, but I like that. It's really good. I'm going to go enjoy these with Harrison. <laughs> All right, I'll make the eggs here. Those are our eggs right here from our chickens, huh? Fried eggs served up. Got our fried eggs, our pancakes. Eating good. All right, I'm about to chat on on these eggs. Harrison, you like your pancake? Yeah. Good. And Mama liked the pancake. I've been eating on her pancake, so good. Yeah. What about Sissy? Sissy, you don't get no pancake. <laughs> she get pancake milk, huh? You get pancake milk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daisy, my girl. All right, well, we're going to chat down and uh, then we're going to go on a walk. Whoa, you're so fast. Are you going so fast? You gotta be careful. Look how pretty it is. Even when it's raining, it's pretty out. Oh, yeah, it's really nice out. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Yeah, you're so beautiful. Are you enjoying girl. your walk? Yeah. Are you enjoying your walk? Is it fun? Yay! We can go past the truck now. All right, bye-bye, fun camping trip. We're going to go home. All right, so we had a really good trip, and we got a lot of fireweed on the side of the mountain there, and it was really beautiful out. The mountain backdrop was beautiful. Yeah. Now that we're home, we're going to go ahead and make some fireweed jelly. And so first, got to make some tea. So we got to make some tea using this. We're just going to do about eight cups of water, pour these in, and get them boiling and make some tea. Uh, before we go ahead and make the tea, we're actually going to go ahead and boil our jars here. So I'm going to go ahead and get those together, and then I'm going to get the tea together. We've made jelly in the past. We've made our blueberry jelly. So we always like to uh, boil our jars just to make sure we get them clean. There's my baby girl. Yeah, say hi, Miss Blakely. She wanted to come see us make some jelly. Miss Blakely has been teething like crazy the last week or so. So lots of drool. Kind of been cranky, but she's still such a good baby. She's definitely gonna be having some teeth coming in soon. She enjoyed camping at least, huh? She did enjoy camping. <laughs> as much as a baby can enjoy camping. Ain't that right? Yeah. She's just going with the flow, whether she wants to or not. But she's loving being with Big Brother and uh, watching him do everything. It's it's so sweet. Yeah. Hey, can you put some water in this for our lids? Yeah. Can you fill this up with water? Yeah. Good job. Let's turn it on higher, huh? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Whoa, big helper. Wow, look at you. You're helping? Yeah. All right, all finished. Good job. No more. No, you did what Daddy said. Look. look. You did it. Good job. All right, so Harrison and I are going to fill up five cups of water here. Good job, Harrison. Yeah. Pour it in here. Five more. Okay, we're going to do one more. All right, we're going to do one more cup. All right, good job. All done. Now we're gonna pour the one cup in here. So a total of five cups. I'll turn this on for you. 
All right, that's definitely a boil right there. Going to turn this bad boy off. We're also going to bring up this pot over here to a boil, and we're going to place our lids in this pot here. That way we make sure that our lids are warm and the wax is warm before we put it on. Okay, so our water is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and add the flowers. And we already measured it out um, to eight cups, and we're going to boil these for about eight minutes. And it's okay if there's leaves in here as well. Um, they're all going to be strained out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stir. So we're waiting for about eight minutes. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it and see. So what we're looking for is for the petals to turn gray. And that lets us know that all the flavor and color is coming out for the tea. Yeah, you can see it's starting to turn gray right it now. It is. Look at that. All right, so it's been close to 10 minutes. So we went ahead and turned the stove off and we're just gonna let it steep for a few minutes and then we'll show you what's next. Ooh. Pretty color though. And it actually has a nice flowery smell to it. Ooh. Yeah, are we doing it together? Huh? Are we making some jelly? All right, so now that the uh, flowers have uh, basically lost their color and we made our fireweed tea, we're gonna go ahead and strain it out and get all our juice from it that we're gonna use to make it into jelly. All right, so from here, now that we got all of our liquid, it's very purple, you can see. We are gonna bring it to a, a boil and add some lemon juice to it. The amount of lemon juice that's required to have is a fourth of a cup. So we're gonna go ahead and add lemon juice, and this part's pretty cool because it's gonna change color, so watch. Woo. So as you can see, it uh, changed from a dark purple to a lighter pinkish purple. All right, so now we got it strained, and it's turned to a nice little pink is purple now instead of that dark purple we're gonna go ahead and uh, add the pectin once we get it to a boil we're adding two packets of pectin and then five cups of sugar one at a time and then after we do that we'll let it boil for one minute turn it off this is only a half cup so I'm gonna add 10 of these All right, now we're gonna let that boil for one minute. All right, I cut the oven off. I'm gonna go grab the jars. Well, there we go. So we have one, two, 14 and a taster when it comes to these uh, quarter pint jars. Uh, so the next step here is I'm going to wipe the rims off with some vinegar. That way we can make sure that we, you know, kill any bacteria or anything that's going to keep the uh, jelly from sealing up. And then we're going to put on our lids that we boiled, or should I say that we steamed. The water was boiled and we dropped those in. And so now we're going to go ahead and put those on after we wipe the rims off with uh, some vinegar. So let's get this done. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a try here. And you can see again the pretty color. It's already starting to solidify there. Yeah, it's already starting to gel. Look at that, it's a, like a dark pink, really nice. What do you think? Mm. That's good. It's good, it was worth the time, huh? It was worth the time. He's right. It's like, it's not super sweet. It's kind of got a flowery taste to it, but I really like it. After we boil it, we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. And then tomorrow we're gonna make sourdough flatbread. It's hot, yeah. We started our boil, huh? Ooh, the jelly's gonna be done. We're gonna let it boil for 10 minutes and then we'll take it off and let it rest. And then those mosquitoes got you bad there, huh, Bubba? Did they bite you? 
Mosquito, they bite you, huh? Yeah, right on your noggin, huh? Man, they bite hard, huh? Three times. Wow. Wow. All right, well, this one has hit 10 minutes, so we're going to turn this one off. And so has this one. Yeah, look, the jelly's all done. Oops. Are you biting that? Are you biting your squirrel? Silly girl. Are you ready to make the flatbread? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we just got finished eating dinner and we decided to go ahead and have a little dessert. So we're gonna make a sweet flatbread and we're gonna use it with our jelly that we just finished making. Now we doubled up on our sourdough starter here. So you can see just how bubbly it is here. All right, so we got our sourdough starter here. Lots of bubbles, huh? Look at all the bubbles. Whoa. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this out here. All right, one and two tablespoons of sugar. So about a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a few tablespoons of flour. This is pretty watery from being just the uh, starter. You can measure it out, but it's more of a see and fill kind of situation, so. You can just, you're waiting for it to just thicken up just enough to flatten out. Sometimes it can be thinner, almost like a pancake. Okay. I don't know about you, but like when I cook most things, I like it brown butter. All right, that looks pretty good like that, actually. I just got back from feeding Sissy, so we wanted to come and see what you're doing in here. All right, let's get this on. There we go. That'll be a nice little flatbread right there. What do you think, babe? Looks good? It looks good. I love flatbread. It actually reminds me, have you guys had that nan bread? That's what it reminds me of, um, uh, that, that thickness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that stuff's so good. So basically we're making like a sourdough nan bread. It's nice and thick. But it looks good. It makes a really good dish to have something like um, what we're making, jelly, <laughs> yeah. honey, butter. Yeah. But today is going to be butter and uh, jelly. Our so. homemade barley jelly. Yeah, so can't wait to try it. We've waited. It's been 24 hours. Yeah, we want to see what the final product tastes like. Hoping it's good. Are you going to be our dishwasher? Yeah, he just like he just likes to wash. He's going to wash our dishes. Are you going to wash the dishes for us? <laughs> he said no. All right. All right, looking kind of crispy. Starting to get there. How's the baby girl? Got her lemon shirt on. She squeezed daily. Oh, <laughs> are you squeezed daily, she baby girl? Squeezed daily, with her lemon outfit on. <laughs> She's a good girl. Who's my good girl? Oops. All right. Whoa! <laughs> it's a big old flatbread. Does it look like a pancake? Yeah. We love our butter. Lots of butter, huh? Oh Do you want to try some? Yeah. We can put some honey for you. You want honey on it? Yeah. Yeah. You want to get closer? Yeah. What's that? Like yeah. a big old biscuit or a big pancake, huh? You want to have some with honey? Yeah. All right, let's look at it here. Oh, yeah, look at that, crispy. Mm -hmm. All right, it's all finished. Let's go get a plate, huh? Does it look yummy? Yeah. Yeah, yummy. Let's eat it, huh? You want to eat it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. That is just cutting it real quick, okay? So Blake just sliced it for me. And now I get to try it with our homemade Barbie jelly. All right, look at that pretty purple pink color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop some out. Look at how pink that looks. Oh, that is so pretty. All right. You can tell it's nice and fresh. It's still hot or with all the butter and homemade jelly. So let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. Is that good? It looks good. Smells good too. It's so good. It's sweet, but it's also tangy and it has a nice floral taste to it as well. Highly recommend this. I think it turned out great. And we had such a fun time camping and picking together as a family. So we hope you enjoyed going along with us. So guys, just so you know too, a lot of times you won't see me eating these breads and stuff like that. And the reason why is because I actually have a gluten allergy now. I developed one uh, just a couple of years ago. And even though I'm allergic to gluten, you know, I still love the smell and I love seeing my family happy eating it. And we don't mind eating his pieces for him. No, no, they don't mind helping me out right there. <laughs> All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this video, and yep. we'll see you next time on Good Living Alaska. Yep, see you next time. Harrison, you want to try yours with honey? Yeah. Yeah, that was good, huh? Mmm. Is that good? Mm. Good. Maybe that's good living, Alaska. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah.